Hi. Hey, how you doing? And welcome Hello. back. Hi, <laughs> and welcome back to this week's uh, installment and uh, this week's video. Um, this one's entitled, More of the Same, Sort of, no, not really. Not really. <laughs> How about that? So hello and welcome back. And uh, thank you for listening and following along. And I hope you've been uh, digging these uh, videos and the information. And more importantly, you're taking the time to apply the information and stuff, or at least testing it to see if we know what we're talking about or not. Um, you know, while I was typing this, I had heard a patient uh, talking to Dr. Diane and this person said that, uh, you know, they're working on their time restricted eating window. So it's a period of time uh, that they eat and then there's a whole bunch of time that they don't eat anything. Not it's the a intermittent fast concept. You could, you could call it that. Yeah, it's yeah. basically what it is. This person's uh, intermittent uh, or time restricted eating window was 10 hours. All right. So uh, what they were finding was that uh, when they woke up in the morning, they were very hungry. And I listened to this person and I, I thought, you know, uh, it sounds reasonable that they're hungry. I mean, it's been 13, 14 hours since they had anything to eat and they wake up and they're, they're pretty hungry and ravenous. But um, the thing you have to keep in mind is that uh, this person isn't exactly fit or trim. As a matter of fact, they're overweight. Um, they have a considerable amount of adiposity, which is a, a nice word for uh, meaning fat, right? Now, not that this person knows who they are, who we're talking about or anything else, but just in case, uh, I would like to mention that over the last couple of months, this person has lost probably 20 to 24 pounds. So they're really looking good and doing a great, a great job. So, um, and, and she got through the phase where she wakes up starving. So and she doesn't what, wake up starving. Her blood sugar was having big swings. Right. And now it's balancing out, which is awesome. Which is a cool thing. So if a person, uh, rather than waking up and needing to eat, what if this person could simply throw that fat switch? Think about that. You got all these reserves. So rather than waking up and trying to find sugar and simple carbohydrates and stuff because you're ravenous and all the rest of the business, what if you just threw the fat switch and your body through a chemical process uh, converted your stored body fat into ketones and it burned the ketones instead? Now, the thing that's interesting that ketones are more nutrient dense than carbohydrates and sugars and things along those particular lines. So it's a much, much better fuel. And as a matter of fact, when you can throw that fat switch, uh, you stay sated, you don't feel hungry and hangry or any of those other terms very long uh, because you've got this, this steady reserve. Um, as a matter of fact, um, the, the only starving all the time is is simply because you use carbohydrates for fuel. They're addictive. People get an addiction and it, it ramps up. <laughs> you get the idea. So, oh, my head, my this, my that. Your, your body's punishing you for not giving it that carbohydrate and sugar feed so that it can get that quick fuel and energy and whatever it doesn't use, it stores as fat. So it's When you like, don't give it to it, when you don't give your body those sugars, then it stops craving them. So that's the ideal scene. <clears throat> so how would a person do this? Where, where is that switch? So basically a person does this by initially eliminating all carbohydrates for about three or four days. Fantastic. Then your body will burn through the glycogen reserves, which is a stored sugar. Uh, and then at that particular time, it will start to cannibalize the muscle tissue and break that down a little and then realize that's a dumb idea when your body looks around and sees all this, this fat laying around and now the chemical processes will occur and your body will convert this, this stored belly fat and the fat in your body into ketones and you'll use those uh, instead for fuel. So when you say remove all carbohydrates for three days, are you saying don't eat any vegetables? Yeah, Wow. all carbohydrates. Because <clears throat> vegetables are good carb but <clears throat> no, we, we don't want any, we don't want any sugar. We're trying to get your body to stop doing that and to go 
and, and convert this fat into ketones. You're trying to burn off the fat reserves. So if you keep eating sugar and carbohydrates and stuff like that, it will never tap into the sugar or into the fat, I should yeah. say. And that's the, that's the thing we're looking to try and do. Um, yeah. Soda is one of the worst things you can do. Yeah. Soda is poison. Yeah. <laughs> so the big bonus from all of this is simply that it will not only reduce the, the, the chronic inflammation that a person is feeling, uh, and the potential for many diseases and disorders that uh, lay in wait. Um, it's amazing. That's, so what you're basically doing is, is you're just kind of, so what you are eating is essentially fat and protein. Um, that can be olive oil, that can be sardines, that can be fish, that can be meat, that can be chicken, and, uh, and, the, uh, and the various fats coconut oil, things along those lines. Um, and it's only for a few days. All you're trying to do is get your body to start to go after and convert the fat into ketones. So it's about an eight day process somewhere along those particular lines. I'll tell you a little story with this. Last time we talked about our receptionist, Jerry, and how much, or maybe the time before that, how much weight she lost, which was absolutely amazing. We've done this with my own mind. My mom's about ready to turn about 85 years old here in the next couple of days, right? So when we first started this, oh, she weighed about 187 pounds, 190 pounds. Right now she weighs 147 pounds. And uh, last month, uh, Dr. Diane and I took my mom to the doctor and she said she looks fine, everything's great. And the thing that's most amazing is my mom was on a little bit of a blood pressure medication which the doctor took her off. So my mom at 85 years old is on no medication. Zero. She would probably be on seven if it weren't for our diligence. Yeah, because <laughs> she's not a, a not like a quote unquote healthy athletic type person by any means. And she uh, loves bread. Loves bread <laughs> and she still eh, does stuff like that and still does her things. But for the most part, we got that fat switch thrown and, uh, and she's doing all right. Yeah, it's amazing. So... <laughs> Um, I think that's that's really amazing. So that's what we're talking about. And she didn't do this to lose the weight. She basically did this to try and uh, stay healthy. Um, diabetes runs rampant in both sides of my family, which means in one of my mom's families, or in her side of the family, it is not good. And her brother and sister are not good. And they're big time diabetics. Not good. <laughs> So, but my mom, she's doing all right. Yeah. Good. So, um, yeah, let me put this back over here. Good. So it's really just the biochemical type stuff that goes on with the body that causes this. And uh, uh, especially with joint pain, back pain and everything else, people get the idea that back pain is a mechanical thing. I sit too long, I try to lift heavy. And while that contributes, um, it was a biochemical process in the immune system breaking down and destroying the tissue uh, that led to all the degenerative diseases and the breakdowns of the joints and everything else. If you've got inflammation, if you've got arthritis, if you've got any of this stuff, we're talking about you. This is chronic unresolved inflammation and the process, and it is highly destructive. And when we have patients come in that aren't healing, it has to do with their inflammatory um, issues with their diet and their body. And if they are not healing, it's because they're eating their inflammation. They're just making themselves turn on fire every time they eat the bad food. So yeah. we have to have that conversation with them. Yeah, why, so, aren't, why aren't they getting well? Because they're causing chronic inflammation. And so their immune system is constantly trying to put out the potato chips and the cookies and the ice cream that they had. And, and in the meantime, it's destroying the joints, it's destroying the organs, it's destroying the brain, everything. It's, it's really quite a thing. So when we talk about this fat switch and everything, we, I don't really care about your body weight or anything. What we're going after is trying to reduce this chronic unresolved inflammation. And as we do that, oh, oddly enough, blood pressure, blood sugar, blood, blood fats, all the rest of this stuff, waist size, weight, and everything drops dramatically. Pretty wild. So with it this- It sounds so easy. 
because it is. <laughs> and if you have trouble with it, we're happy to help you. We have some ideas. Well, that's basically the next line. So you, you might want to pay attention to what we're, we're talking about here and reach out to us at, at Paragon Chiropractic. Uh, we are help, here to help you and get this technology applied. And the best part about it is you're not buying thousands of dollars of Jim Jim berries or anything else. You're, you're straightening up your lifestyle. You're straightening up the way you live and the foods that you eat and the time you go to sleep and how much time you sit and stare at a screen. It really boils down to, to discipline and ethics. And we can it's, help you fast it because some people can't do a 14 hour water only fast after dinner, during their sleep and before breakfast to get to a 10 hour eating window. But if we help you get to it on a gradient, maybe you start with 12 hours and then you go to 11 and then you get to 10. Magic weight loss happens at 10 hours. Your body just leans out and it's really amazing. And it is that easy, but for a lot of people, it's really difficult because their body's so used to food for a lot longer period. So we can help guide you. Yeah. yeah. And so the take home messages is if you resolve chronic inflammation, uh, you will uh, be resolved dissolved, involved, <laughs> evolved, and absolved. Wow, I never heard that. How about that? <laughs> what yeah. are you absolved from? Uh, your, <laughs> All your sins? Yeah, from your, from your, from your sins of, of <laughs> basically leading an unhealthy lifestyle. There you go. There I like it, it. Yeah. That's so, great. hooray for time-restricted eating windows, deflammatory diets, metabolic flexibility, and the almighty fat switch. Brilliant. That's it exactly brilliant. what we want. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And uh, now you've got the idea behind metabolic flexibility. Rather than depending exclusively on carbs and sugar for easy fuel, uh, your metabolism can now tap into your fat reserves and use these effectively. And guess what? You lose weight and lots of it. Why? Because you're burning the stored fat. And the funny part is, why do you store fat? Well, it's for, for energy. Yeah, that's, it's like, well, then why don't, you, why don't you burn it? What are you saving it for? <laughs> Nobody wants it. <laughs> yeah. So that's another brilliant idea. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, this really is a no-brainer. Um, and if you don't avail yourself to this amazing technology, you might really wind up with uh, no brain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're finding that Alzheimer's and stuff, uh, which I find interesting, is not necessarily a brain thing, and I'd love to talk to people about that, but more so that it is probably an autoimmune thing where through inflammatory, uncontrolled inflammatory situations, your immune system is turning on your nervous system and it is turning on your brain, the organs in your body and everything, and it is destroying them and breaking them down. That is autoimmunity. I mean, they're calling Alzheimer's type three diabetes, which is an, a unique idea also. <laughs> yeah, so. which is also uh, inflammation. inflammation once again. So there we go. Um, yeah, so, we'd love to help you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, give us a call, let us know. Uh, we, can, we can help you. Um, it, it really is not like a big deal. I mean, essentially, what we're essentially going to do is stop the easy, readily available carbohydrate, sugar stuff, get you to start burning the fat. By eating real food. And then what happens with that is every once in a while, yeah, it's not that you can never eat a birthday cake or anything. You can do that. But the thing that's cool about it is that your body can actually fix itself from that hunk of birthday cake. But it's not going to be able to fix itself living on birthday cake, um, soda Jack pop, Daniels. Jack Daniels, <laughs> blah, 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 and all the rest of the stuff 24 seven and do and eating like 18, 20 hours a day. Uh, it, just, it just can't fix itself. So that's all we're basically doing is pulling this back, getting rid of the simple fuels, burning the better fuels, which happens to be your body fat, and you take a long break from food for a while, give your system a time to rest and digest and heal and recover, and it's, it's really that easy. And you won't be hungry because your body is getting all the, the fuel it needs from the fat reserves. Because your fat switches on. Yes, yeah, you're turning fat, on your fat switch. Yeah, fat switches on. <laughs> so, all right, I'm Dr. Dave. This is Dr. Diane. If you think about it, please hit the like button, and we appreciate you. There have been a lot of people that have been watching these videos, and I've been hearing comments. Uh, we had a patient come in today and looked at Dr. Diane and said that her 
her hair looks really nice and she didn't get it. <laughs> but we talked about it last time that you know she had to get on the video. So if you'll <laughs> notice, it's a week after the haircut and it's still looking good. <laughs> So that's, so is yours. that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. No, I got to go to hair club for men if I want to look good and get an Elvis wig or something. My days of being a long hair are over. But at any rate, so hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, uh, come on in. If you want to come in as a group, if you like, you know, I, I, this makes some sense to me, but let me talk if to you about it. If you ever need a it. lecture for some event, we do that. We it's do fun. lectures. Yeah. Uh, we do bar mitzvahs, we do <laughs> uh, weddings, uh, all sorts of stuff. So, good. Okay. <laughs> At any rate, thank you for following around. We'll see you next week. Yes. Bye. Yep. <laughs>